So we're going to do the zodiac sign Leo. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. What do we have for Leo? So you have the Emperor. And then you have Ace of Cups. So whoever this emperor is, this could be someone that is, um, this could be someone that's in love. This person has new feelings for someone and, um, they could be in their emotions about it. It's like this person is focused on love. They're focused on, um, the feelings that they have for someone. The devil. It's like as this person is focused on whoever this person is that they are in love with, they have feelings for. This is someone that they have a lot of compassion for. Because the Queen of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. And um they look at that person as someone that you know that is emotionally stable. This person is someone that is nurturing their self, they love their self. And they're emotionally balanced out. This is someone that they care about. This person is someone that's very caring. And they're very intuitive as well. But this devil energy being here. This could have been some type of attachment that this person had to them. An addiction. A bad habit. And it was keeping that person restricted from, you know, expressing their emotions. They could have been dealing with a lot of, you know, different people that were... Uh, like temptation. They were easy to be seduced by people that are very materialistic, codependent, and people that are toxic. Yeah, whoever this person is or whatever this attachment is, it was slowing this person down, Knight of Pentacles. It was just keeping this person distracted from whatever, you know, their responsibilities were. And they're seeing this. The sun card is here. It's like that was illuminated to this person while they were in this two of wands energy. And it's like somebody could have been in this energy where they were obsessed with slowing this person down and they see this while they were in this, you know, stalemate energy. It's like they were keeping their self at a stalemate from making some type of decision, from progressing in life and um, leaving a situation behind like this toxic devil energy. Yeah, it's like they've gained some type of truth and clarity. Ace of Swords is here. Whatever this addiction was, whatever this toxic attachment was, um, it gave them some type of mental clarity. So they would be able to break through from whatever this toxicity is, like this devil energy. Yeah, and complete a cycle out. The Will of Fortune is here. This person is realizing that they needed to complete a cycle out. Yeah, they needed to make some type of change in order to have some type of good luck.
Because this person wants to expand their life. It's like this person wants to be at a higher level than what they were at. They realize whatever energy that they were in, it was only keeping them stuck and keeping them running into the same type of people, codependent, materialistic, toxic. People that were just temptation. They were keeping that person restricted. Yeah. They were keeping that person away from their will of fortune, their good luck, whatever destiny and purpose that they have with this will of fortune. Two of Swords. And Seven of Wands. So whoever was trying to lie to this person or keep this person blinded, they wanted this person to not be able to make a proper decision. They're just be indecisive and um, not being able to decide on how to move forward. Something backfired. That person is going through some type of challenges. They could have been secretly in competition. But now it's like this person is guarding their self from this person. This person lied to them. To like keep them blinded from the truth. And the only reason why that person lied is because they're someone that's toxic. And they were trying to distract that person and slow that person down from happiness. And um, finding out the truth. Yeah, this is somebody they definitely needed to leave out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. It's like something backfired and they left that person behind. It's like they moved on. They isolated their self from that person. This person could be going through some type of poverty, financial lacks, or they wanted to blind that person because they needed that person. And they wanted that person to think that they needed them. Yeah, they're pissed. Knight of Swords is here. They're mad because that person left them out in the cold and this person found out the truth about whatever they were trying to keep them blinded to. Now this person is driven to move forward. This is all they're thinking about. After they gain some type of truth and clarity, it's like they're defending whatever it is that they have found out. They're going off of what they physically see. And they're also going off of their intuition. Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person is very passionate about working on their self, changing their self. Working on whatever it is that they want out of life. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And it's like they're looking at things for the long term, not just for the moment. Like this devil energy is temptation. Material things. Things that this person is not looking at anymore. They're focused on something. They're focusing on something at, at a whole nother view. Yeah. And it's like they're looking back at everything that they invested in. Three of Wands is here. Yeah, this person is looking at, at things for the long term. They're looking at, you know, stuff that they want to expand, things that they want to progress in, different opportunities that they, that they you know, can have for their self. And they've made a final decision of what they want with their life. And it's like somebody is just, you know, somebody chose to love their self instead of letting temptation codependency, destructive patterns, behaviors, toxicity take over them and slow them down and distract them from what they need to be focusing on to have something for the long term. Two of Cups. So this person made a decision that they want to partner up with someone with this Two of Cups being here. And this is someone that they want to be in a marriage with. They want to work with that person, build with that person, and um, have a life with that person. 
Like they can see their self having a future with that person for the long term. Judgment is here. Somebody is under judgment. It's like they're receiving karma because this person walked away eight of cups from whatever bad investment, whatever they were investing in with that person. And they chose to work on their self. They chose to withdraw from whatever this devil energy is. After gaining the truth. Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, now they're going towards something quick. Now they're able to make a quick decision. They're not in the Two of Swords energy anymore. This person knows what they want for their future. Yeah, King of Wands. It's like this person is finally seeing a big picture and they've overcome whatever challenges that this was. They're more focused and they're thinking about, you know, and they're, you know, also more mature. And I'll just keep, you know, getting that they're thinking about the long term, like what they want for their future. And it's like while they were in this stalemate two of wands, somebody was planning this out to keep this person in the two of swords energy. This person was um, like visualizing this, what they wanted for their future. And somebody was blinded to that. They didn't know that all of this would backfire and they would be dealing with these same challenges that they wanted this person to face. Wow, yeah, this was definitely betrayal with this Ten of Swords being here. This person needed to end something out in order to start something new. Ace of Wands is here. And it's like they've completed this. This could have been a painful ending that they went through, but um, the worst have ended. Now they're ready to start something new. Ace of Wands. Phoenix. So yeah, this person is in the in the energy where they're you know, they've changed. They went you know they they've changed their mind. They went through a transformation, and as I said, they're more focused. They're more focused, and they're focusing on growth. They renew themselves. Chaser. And it's like somebody was chasing this person down, whoever this five of pentacles energy is, because they're codependent. They were fear of they were in fear of this person leaving them behind because they have some type of abandonment issue or something like that. They could have wanted that person to chase them down. As I said, they wanted that person to think that they needed them. But this person is looking at things at a whole nother view. And it's like they cannot be blinded from the truth. Yeah, stabbed in the back. They realized they were stabbed in the back. They were deceived by this person. Because whatever they did to blind this person from the truth, it only backfired. It made that person realize they were betrayed. They were being distracted. Coffin. Yeah, this is something that needed to come to an end. It helped this person end something out so they would be able to start something new. It helped this person make a change. Yeah, they were in a karmic relationship. They had to end this out. You have the coffin and karmic relationship. And this was a karmic lesson that that person needed to learn. 
they've learned that lesson and they've let go. Now they're ready to start something new, but this person is still harboring resentment. And it's like they could be dealing with some type of addiction as well. Whoever this energy is. Yeah, this person somebody that's very controlling as well. And it's like they're only keeping their self stuck to this toxic karmic, um, you know, this devil energy. That's it. They can't keep that person stuck to them. So now they're stuck in this devil energy. And this person could be like possessed because possession is here. Controlling. They're being controlled by the energy that they put out. To try to keep that person distracted. Yeah. This person chose to heal their heart. That's why the Ace of Cups and the Emperor popped out. It's like they finally start showing their self some love. Taking care of their self. Realizing what they needed to change. Now they're viewing things differently. But somebody chose to stay in some type of addiction. While this person was freeing their self from a toxic relationship and that they could have been um, addicted to something as well. But they've healed. Yeah, and th this person is in love. This person has been focusing on self-love first, but they have unconditional love for you. This person have attraction and affection and passion for you. Then you have soulmates here. They definitely know that you and them have a soul connection. This person was in the energy where they were running from you because they were in a codependent toxic karmic cycle and they feared intimacy. This person realized they needed to let go of some type of ego issues because this is the only thing that they were listening to, their ego. Now they're no longer blinded from the truth. 